Health alert. Imagine walking around with bald patches all over your head. This is a condition suffered by more than 5 million people here in the U.S. Yeah, we're talking about alopecia areata, and it can really be devastating, especially for children. But for one local girl, she is standing up for those who are different. It was little, like it was only like that big, and then it got bigger. And it's not something many adults would even talk about. But for this nine-year-old, Rio Jimenez had no problem talking or showing us her bald spots. I know that's not going to go away, probably, or not, and um, I know that. Rio has alopecia areata, a condition that causes hair loss. It's an autoimmune disease that attacks the hair follicles. It doesn't destroy them, but it disrupts them enough so that they stop growing. Dr. Norris from the University of Colorado Denver School of Medicine says Rio has what's called patchy alopecia. He says the disease is based on genetics and environment. I cried as I thought I was a failure as a mom. It's been an emotional ride for Rio and her mom. I just started panicking because I know that kids are so cruel and they can be so mean. Everybody started making fun of me like you don't have any hair, you're going to lose it all and you're weird. But with love and support, Rio says she now likes her hair. And when I was young, people would also say, like, you're a jerk or something, just because I lost my hair. And I would say, thank you. I don't care what you say because my mom loves me and I have people around me who love me. If you just take the time to learn about it and educate people, it just makes such a huge difference. You should be nice to everybody and treat them the way that you wanted to be treated. All right, now there is no cure for alopecia areata. There are different medicines out there, though, that can help. The doctors say there can be severe side effects or they can cause severe side effects. For the latest on the research efforts and for more on this disease, you can go to the DenverChannel.com and click on.